Minnesota dad unalives his wife, ex, and two children. Uh, hang on, his ex? Yes. His uh, hey, he wow. took care of his wife, ex partner, and two sons in a devastating self deletion uh, homicide, which has shattered a tight knit community. Anthony nephew, forty six, found dead, self inflicted gunshot wound inside of his home in Duluth, Minnesota, Thursday afternoon. Well, Three years before his death, he spoke candidly about the mental health crisis in the United States, warning breakdowns lead to self deletion or homicide before self deletion. He's not wrong. It's yeah, correct. Yeah, apparently he must have been uh, knowing a little bit too much about it. Yeah, and look, so, man. Uh, what what makes it worse is the reason why. Yeah. So they responded. Police responded to a welfare call. Two p.m. They found forty-seven-year-old Abramson and her fifteen-year-old son Jacob nephew dead with multiple gunshot wounds. Blended family appeared close. They were trying to do the Brady Bunch thing, mm. apparently. Catherine went by cat often sharing public messages on Facebook about Aaron. You know, so it seems like everything was decent. Mm -hmm. So what could possibly have led to this? Hmm. Well, it turns out he was appeared increasingly concerned about the prospect of a Trump led government. Hmm. My mental health and the world can no longer peacefully coexist. And a lot of the reason is religion. I'm terrified of religious zealots inflicting their misguided beliefs on me and my family. I have intrusive oh. thoughts of being burned at the stake as a witch or crucified on a burning cross. That's called mental illness. You yes. should get that taken care of. Oh, wait, you did. Having people actually believe that I or my child are Satan or the Antichrist or whatever their favorite color of boogeyman they're afraid of this week. Usually your favorite color of boogeyman is orange. Wow. He had also accused Republicans of making it harder for women to leave domestic violence relationships. Uh, of course, there's no possibility of that even happening because you would literally have to write new legislation to nullify VAWA. So once again, we have somebody who is literally just a victim of propaganda. He chose to believe it mm -hmm. instead of going out there and finding out the truth for himself. And now four people and himself yeah, are, have their thinking meat ventilated. That is horrific and i'm just wondering how he got managed to get his ex involved in this yeah wow uh apparently he made a reference to the hand jobs tale you know the dystopian republic so, which which is basically sadomasochistic fetishism for feminists out there it, they are they're actually it really into of it. the ex or the new wife well, go, well this one here we were on that that's one of the kids oh my god oh that's one of the kids that's okay, one of the kids I'm, yeah I'm thinking that kind of looks like a guy yeah well that's how it goes man Wow. That is Yeah, terrible. so this dude literally wasted his wife, ex-wife, and two kids because he believed lies that were forced onto him by yeah. a media that loves to rage bait people. Well, they've been rage baiting and fear mongering for quite some time. Well, yeah, because it gets them clicks. Well, at least yeah. it used to. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's quite astonishing just how much MSNPC has lost in the last eight days alone. Well, here's the thing. We know that the mainstream media has been piping in elevator music to the basically the entire country for about two decades. It got really bad after 2012-13. That was when the smith munt Modernization yeah. Act was passed by Obama's Congress. But, you know, we got Pete in the chat here. He and I went to Iraq in 04. Yep. And we were present on the ground when significant events took place. Mm. And a couple hours later, on MSNBC and CNN, we're watching it, and it's totally different. They're liars. They've been liars from the beginning. And on one of these occasions, there was CNN reporters on the ground, saw the same shit we did, and yet it's a complete cooked up lie. Of course. I was like, Oof. the Cuck News Network. Mm. Fabulous. <laughs> Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporters Sundays, Go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat gazer box.